Can Touch ID be hacked on the iPhone 5S? At least one online group is willing to bet yes. iOS users, now that you're all settled into your new operating system, maybe you're getting ready to throw down for that iPhone 5S. Aside from a new class of colors, of course, one of the most talked about features is the fingerprint sensor called Touch ID that lets you access your phone and make purchases through iTunes with a swipe of your fingerprint. Or paw print, for that matter, as demonstrated in this video from TechCrunch. Yes, a cat can unlock it. But in any case, here's a quick refresher on how the sensor itself works. The sensor uses advanced capacitive touch to take, in essence, a high-resolution image of your fingerprint from the sub-epidermal layers of your skin. It then intelligently analyzes this information with a remarkable degree of detail and precision. It works from any orientation, and as Apple pointed out in their keynote, it's stored in the phone's A7 chip, not in the cloud, which was supposed to dissuade any security fears that people may have about biometric sensors, which are kind of a relatively new thing on consumer devices. For example, can prints be reproduced? Years ago, some students in Australia were able to trick a biometric sensor using gummy bears. Search for that on YouTube, like I did, and you'll find older videos of people successfully creating a fake fingerprint that fooled a sensor protecting a laptop, again, with a gelatin mix. And of course, there's some slightly more morbid ideas floating around about what this all might lead to. Maybe in 2005, you read about a robbery in Malaysia where the perps chopped a car owner's finger off to access a Mercedes S-Class, which had a fingerprint sensor. And now, like one commenter on Matchable, you're fearful that Touch ID will lead to muggers cutting off your finger to steal your phone or just killing you to unlock the prize. But can you use a severed finger to unlock an iPhone? Well, right now, the popular consensus seems to be no. Apple, for their part, seems pretty confident that the level of precision involved in their 500 PI sensors will prevent any kind of fraud, whether that involves a dead person's finger or a super advanced mold of someone's unique print. But at least one group of hackers sounds equally confident that someone can find a way to crack it. A website called IsTouchIDHackedYet.com is offering a bounty for anyone who can successfully trick Touch ID, requesting a video of the process from print, lift, reproductions, and successful unlock with reproduced print. Sounds like they won't pay out for dead fingers, in case you're wondering. As of this writing, the crowdfunded reward is up to several thousand, with people offering a minimum of 50 bucks, or in some cases, Bitcoin, or in other cases, bottles of booze, for a successful hack. We'll leave the link in the show notes if you're interested. What do you think? Does Touch ID seem secure to you? Let us know your reaction in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to tune in for Driven, also on the channel. Today, John reviews the 2014 Kia Cadenza. For TFN, this is Annie.